All right, friends, for this week's media demonstration video, we're going to be using oil pastels and a black Prismacolor pencil in a manual pencil sharpener to finish this dragon drawing. You can notice here I also have a few pieces of already torn paper towel pieces. That's just so I'm, it's ready when I'm ready. Um, and also, I've already sharpened my pencil, right? And you can tell, here's my oil pastels. They're ready to go. I tell my students this all the time. It's so important for you to keep your supplies in good shape, to know where they are, and to be ready for class when it's time to start, but also so your supplies last a really long time. Remember guys, if you want one of these magnets, I want you to like this video. Tell me about it during class. If you already have one of these magnets, you know what? You can get a second magnet or, or you can tell your friends about it and tell them to contact me and I will mail them a magnet. But I only have about 30 of these magnets left and I really want to send them out. So please help me that way. I appreciate your support guys. It means a lot to me. All right guys. So we're using these oil pastels this week. And um, like I said, this is a uh, dragon. You can make this thing any color you like. It's a mythical creature. They're fun um, to color. They're, con they're fun to uh, draw and just kind of imagine. So these oil pastels are ready to go. My pencil's ready to go. What I'm going to talk to you guys today about is, is there's different ways to do the same thing, right? So you can press really hard with an oil pastel and get a really thick application. And sometimes you can just do it really, really thin. You can use pieces of a paper towel to rub it in. And what you're doing essentially is almost um, just staining the paper. And by doing that, you just get different effects. That's why I ask you guys to consider doing these videos over and over again, just to, you know, have some fun and you never know, you can always make a lot of different dragons and color them in in different ways. You can use crayons, watercolor paint, oil pastels, markers, colored pencils. You really can have a great time with it, guys. So I hope you're gonna try those things. Well, friends, I'm gonna go right into time-lapse here. And um, if you have any questions, you can always ask me. Your parents can email me. You can let me know if you have a question. I'm going to come back and do a conclusion in just a couple seconds here. See you on the other side of the time lapse. guys so as you can see I have colored in the whole drawing and I have rubbed it with all these pieces of paper towel that's why I split them up in these little pieces it's really good so you have lots of things in case you have multiple colors we just want to have a nice clean piece of paper towel and uh, this is kind of a little bit of a trick that I did today I don't know if you noticed that but so I rubbed everything in really really well and when you do that guys when you rub in your oil pastel with a paper towel then the trick is you actually don't even need this black colored pencil um, so those of you that have been in my class before know that I always recommend using a black colored pencil to go over your lines again so that you can see them but you know what if you can see them you don't have to go over them so I'm just going to demonstrate you can do it if you want to but you certainly don't have to. Um, so the only time you would do it is if there's a line that you can't see anymore. Or if you wanted to add something else, for example, if you wanted to add some little lines around your stars, you can't do that with a Sharpie. It's gonna hurt your Sharpie, you can't do that, but you can do it with a black colored pencil. So if there's any other details you wanna to add to your drawing, like I'm doing with this black colored pencil um, around these stars, that would be the time to do it. Um, you can do that before or after you color. And so you can also sign your name with a black colored pencil. So even though we don't really have to use it today, it's a good place to put your initials and the year right down there in the bottom corner. And sometimes I tell my students to put it on the back as well. Never hurts to put your name on the back. 
never hurts to put the date. And so I am writing the date on here and I'm gonna write what it is. It's a dragon. So I'll always remember when I did it, what it is. And someday some person might look back at it and say, oh, Kim did this. And so just like your artwork, someday you're gonna wanna remember guys. So I'm gonna just finish up by putting a few more lines around my stars because I really like the way that looks. But you could also, you know, add some more scales on your dragon if you feel like you don't have enough. I just wanted to show you that you can use this black colored pencil to do a lot of little things, but you don't need it necessarily to make the black line stand out anymore. But you can certainly use it to add a few details to the black lines you already have. And I think that looks pretty cool. All right, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I love drawing with you guys and I love seeing your work. So if you want to send me examples by email of you with your artwork, it's always delightful for me to see your progress. All right, friends, that's it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.